as it still includes the design of moment connection, W beams and W columns, recently a new feature was added to as it still to include HSS columns. So in this type of connections, additional limit states need to be checked. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're gonna design from scratch a moment connection of a W beam to an HSS column. Let's get started. According to the statement of the problem, the beam reactions are dead load, live load, and wind load as shown here. P is the vertical reaction at the beam. M is the moment. The beam is a W14 by 34, and the column is HSS 10 by 10 by 3 eighths, square column. The goal is to design the connection. So let's open ASIP Steel. When you open ASIP Steel, you see the project manager. Here you can see the modules included in the package, base plate and anchorage, steel columns, steel and composite beams, shear connections, moment connections, and web openings. In this case, in this example, we're going to design a moment connection. So let's create a calculation. Let's call it example. And the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on this node. And this is the template for moment connection in ASIP Steel. In this example, we're going to select to design a flange plate type of moment connection. In the column tab, we specify here the type of connection. In this case, we have an HSS column. Let's click on this option. To see what we're doing, let's click on the graph tab. Here we can see a typical moment connection is uh, the default values. To select the column section, click on the steel database. And here we can select the section that we are interested in. In this case, it's a square HSS 10 by 10 by 3 8. Let's click select. And then the properties of that section has been transferred to the template. For top condition, let's assume that the connection occurs in a typical floor level, as opposed to the roof level. So some limit states are sensitive to this condition. The connecting phase here is irrelevant because it's a square column. Let's click on the beam tab. Here we specify the beam section. Again, click on the steel database, W14 by 34. Click Select, and the section properties have been transferred to the template. Since we are connecting to an HSS, it's common practice to use a shear plate for shear connection, but we can also use a double angle if necessary. Let's try first with a shear plate. Let's continue entering all the information given in the statement of the problem. Let's go to the Materials tab, the Column tab. Here we specify FY for the column. It's HSS, so FY is 46 KSI. For the beam, it's a 50, it's okay. And for flange plate, let's say that is 50 as well. And 65 for FU. Same applies for shear plate, 50, 65, FU. Let's use bolts three quarters of an inch, A325, and then let's use these sizes for now, quarter of an inch for shear connection, 3 8 for flange plate to column, and 5 16 for flange plate to beam. If necessary, we can change these sizes accordingly. Let's click on the Loads tab. Here I have entered already the numbers given in the statement of the problem. Dead is 10 kips vertical and 15 kip feet moment, live and wind. We will design the connection per LRFD. So we are ready to start checking and optimizing the design. To do so, we can use the Araglance tab. Here we can see a summary of the results just in one screen. If we need more details, we go to the Condensed tab. Here are more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic. If we need even more detailed set of calculations, let's click on the Detail tab. Here we can get all the detailed information step by step with references to the AISC, also with exposed formulas, all the limit states, and so on for a granular checking. So we have three different type of uh, presentation of the results according to our needs. Let's start with at a glance. Here we can see immediately that in the moment connection strength, all the limit states are passing except this limit state, which is HSS column punching shear. 
This is telling us that the problem is in the, in the column side, not in the beam side. The capacity according to this limit state is 40.8 keep fit, and we have 68 keep fit for this load combination. Since the problem is the punching shear, probably we will need to increase the thickness of the column face. Let's go to the geometry tab. Right now we are using a column HSS 10 by 10 by 3 eighths. Probably we can try with a, a half an inch, 10 by 10 by half an inch, select. Now the properties of this new section has been transferred to the template. And now all these limit states are passing, including the punching shear. Now we are providing 78.1 and we needed 68. So the moment connection strength is okay with this configuration. In the shear connection strength portion, everything is passing except this limit state, bolt shear rupture. The bolt shear rupture limit state is providing 53.5 kips, and we need 60 kips at least for this load combination. So there's a deficiency with this limit state. What can we do? The problem is with the bolt shear. So we need more bolts. There are three rows of bolts. Maybe we can add one more row here. Let's go to bolts. Here in the shear connection portion is three rows. Let's add one more row. So four, four rows. Now there are four rows. But now there's an issue here because the shear plate is now in contact with the top flange. So we need to reduce this eccentricity of one inch to zero. Let's go to shear plate in eccentricity to the center line of the beam is zero here. Now the plate is centered with the beam and there's no more issues. So we added one more bolt. Let's go to the other glance to see if that helped with the calculations. Now this limit state is passing. We are providing 71.3. We needed 60.0. So all the limit states for moment connection are passing. All the limit states for shear connections are passing as well. Here at the bottom, the design checks are also passing. Everything is okay. Now we need to try to optimize the design. Can we optimize this somehow? For example, if we go to the flange plate tab, we are using a plate which is 6.5 and the thickness is 3 quarters of an inch. Graphically, is this plate over here. Let's try to reduce the thickness instead of three quarters of an inch, probably half an inch. Let's see if that helps and if the design is still still works. Go to the other glance tab again, and we can see that, yes, the design is still okay with this reduced thickness of the flange plate. The plate is bolted to the top and bottom flanges. Let's see if we can reduce the number of bolts. Let's go to the bolts tab again. Now in the shear connection, Let's see if we can make it work with only three rows of bolts instead of four. Something like that. Let's go to other glance. And it's still working. We can see here that the controlling limit state is bolt shear rupture. And we are providing 71.3 versus 60. So it's passing. In the moment connection strength area, the controlling limit state is HSS punching shear. We are providing 95.7, and we needed only 68, so it's, it's passing. Here the ratio is 0.84 for shear, and the ratio is 0.71 for moment. So this design is very well optimized as it is. We go to the detail tab, all the combined loads, here the shear connection strength, all the limit states with the references, all formulas exposed. See the moment connection strength calculation, all the limit states, all formulas exposed as well. As you can see, it's very easy to design moment connections to W beams to HSS columns using ASIP steel. This type of connection would be very time consuming if you try to do it by hand, but using the program can be done just in a few minutes as we did it here. If you like the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.